on the internet and some of it is slander, some of it is defamation and using our content in their videos and we're like, okay, cool. We've waited out for a while for you to stop. You're still doing it. So, oh, you know what? Cool. Now we're going to take legal action against you because obviously we're attacking our, our character and our integrity. So at that point, hey, it's all fair game. Yeah, I mean, yeah. simply put, if someone breaks into your store, right, and use it, takes a broom off, you have a hardware store, takes a broom off the shelf and starts beating you with your own broom and won't leave and does it for four months, what are you going to do? Well, you can't file a game. What's up, gang? It's your boy Allende, Authentic Alphas. And why is it time to talk about Fresh and Fit again? Because, once again, they've done something that affects me. <laughs> so, the topic today is basically why Myron can't stop lying, cheating, and stealing. Now, let's look at it. For a guy that's constantly saying that hate comes from below, he sure has to take some pretty slimy, dishonest strategies and tactics to get revenge on the so-called people that are below him. So if you criticize him, it's automatically categorized as hate. But the funny thing about hate is if someone is saying things about you that are true, <laughs> they're negative, but they're true, I'm not sure if the reason why they're saying it is really a priority. It's really that important. It's kind of like when someone makes a comment about black people that's true, and then somebody quickly accuses them of being a racist. I've always thought to myself, before I look at this person personally, well, let me just look at what they're saying. Let me look at their comments and then let me look at their their ideas first let me judge that first how true is that how relevant is that before i start even asking about where it's coming from or you know what what mind you know what what mood this person was in or you know why is this person saying all oh, this person is saying this because they're racist yeah but hold on that's secondary is what the person's saying true though is that even true so it's just interesting that myron is always trying to deflect all this criticism by just labeling it as hate, 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 hate. Well, if people are just hating on you, then why is it even an issue? Because I thought that just came with success, that people are gonna quote unquote hate on you. Now, here's the thing. That's true to an, ex to an extent. People are gonna become jealous and envious as you acquire you know, more success in life. That's just part of human nature. But another thing is you, be you become more visible. And when you become more visible, then you're subjected to criticism. And that's mostly what they're experiencing. So I don't really think there's that many people like hating on them. And the funny thing is, even if it was like hate, I think the people that are hating on them are actually the people that, that are the closest to them, the people that they're operating with the most. And I say that obviously because of the things I know from the inside. I don't want to say any names other than Fresh and Fit right now for other reasons. There's other people asking me, not to mention certain other people's indiscretions, but um, you know there are other channels that all they do is talk about Fresh and Fit. Their whole channel is based on reviewing and covering Fresh and Fit videos from a positive light, of course, you know, because there's part of that little team or whatever. But they're relying heavily on the views of, of talking about the last episode of Fresh and Fit. So. One minute you're saying that the people that are criticizing you negatively, oh, they get more views when they talk about fresh and fit. Oh, but you're not bringing up the channels that are, you know, constantly dick riding and constantly covering their content to have content of their own. You know, it's positive coverage, but why do you have to cover the fresh and fit fucking show every, you know, other episode and, and, and back to back? Everything on your channel is covering fresh and fit's channel. So anyway, the point is, is that ain't nobody hating, bro. Just over here saying the truth. So I recently went on the Playing With Fire podcast and Alex brought up the fact that 
Myron is having people's Instagrams deactivated. And I was like, oh, shit, don't bring this up because I don't want this guy to deactivate my That thing. requires a hacker. Now, funny coincidence, haha, it seems that in that time period where, you know, where Fresh and Fit started doing the counter price strikes, it seems that pretty much everyone who criticized them just magically got their Instagram deactivated for the same exact reason. Spencer, impersonation, all these other guys, it wasn't for like other things, it was all for impersonation. Now, how much of a fucking, yeah, Kevin Raywell, how much of a coincidence is it that pretty much every guy who publicly criticized Fresh and Fit gets their Instagram deactivated for the same exact reason in a very short time. And, and anyway, sure enough, the next day, <laughs> my Instagram is deactivated again, all right? So, you know, coincidence, coincidence, right? Every time that I'm messaging girls that were on the Fresh and Fit podcast and trying to put them together to, to interview them and talk to them about their experience on the podcast, suddenly, my Instagram gets deactivated. Your Instagram as well, right? At one point. Yeah, and I really don't want to lose it again. So. <laughs> okay. So, uh, oh. Amaru, please. You know, you won that one. Okay, your bitch tactics worked. You know, I, I you know, I can't. You know, lying to the police and having much. Uh, you know what? You won. You won. You know, surrender. Surrender. Let <laughs> no. me know. Let me know when you want to. And you invite me. people on your show that you disagree with. Yeah, that's yeah. important. A lot of people I mean, don't do that. Discourse. You know sure. what I'm saying? That discourse, I think, is very important. Uh, that's right. Anyway. The point that I wanted to make is that nobody motivates me or inspires me to do YouTube more than Myron. It's not even really what I was thinking about doing or where I was putting my energy or my effort. It was Fresh that was like, oh, you gotta, you gotta get a YouTube. And he started, like he manually, you know, went to my phone and started a YouTube for me. So I was like, all right, I guess I have a YouTube now. Um, but I really didn't think I was ready. I was like, man, I don't have like the equipment. You know, I don't have a studio, all those things. And Fresh just kept telling me, you don't need any of those things, right? Uh, look, at, look at alpha male strategies. Still using an iPhone. Huge in the space. He was like, all that matters is the content. And you already have that. You already have the information. That's the most important thing, is the information and quality audio. This is what Fresh is telling me, but... <laughs> According to Fresh and Fed, I'm, you know, below, you know. Anyway, and Myron always motivated me simply because he was always so insecure around me. The fact that he viewed me as such a threat is what made me realize, oh, shit, I do have what it takes. I do have the tools and the ingredients, the information and the knowledge to dominate in this space and do well and give guys a lot of useful um, you know, info. Because, like I said, he acted like that from day one. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't have nothing. I don't have a studio. I don't have all these things you have. Why the hell are you so threatened? You know what I mean? Um, and he would be so uncomfortable every time I would go on the podcast because he didn't want to be showed up, you know? Rule number one, never outshine the master. And as much as I would try to tone it down, I'm just honest by nature, so I would just say what I thought and say what I believed, and I would try to say it in a way that didn't, didn't, you know, show him up or upstage him, but he always took it that way, and the feedback from the subs was always positive. You know, you can go back and watch all the Fresh and Fit episodes that I was on, unless they had the moderator erase all the comments about Allende, but they were always very, very positive and encouraging, and Myron hated the fact that I was getting that type of attention and feedback on his channel or in general for that matter. So let's dissect the three things that I mentioned, which was lying, cheating, and stealing. So we'll go backwards. If Myron was so creative, so smart, so original, and so adept, and this red pill information and knowledge, then why is all his shit regurgitated? Why does all his shit come from other content creators that came before him? other guys that were already in the, in the Red Pill space. What has he originally brought to the space besides punish bad behavior? That's the only thing that, that so far we still believe is, is an Amiron original, is punish bad behavior. And that's not really good advice. That's not really, what do you mean punish? Like, no, you just get away from that chick. Punishing her, putting effort into trying to make her suffer and all this, that's way too much effort for a chick that's not fucking with you. You mean to tell me this chick flakes on you and you're going to put the energy in to try to punish her? You can't punish her um, 
by not giving her time or not going out with her and all this other stuff if she was really that interested in you in the first place. If she was interested enough for that to be a punishment, then she would have been interested enough not to flake. So it's, the advice doesn't even really make sense technically. And it's just coming from a, a place of scorn. It's coming from a place of resentment because you are always hurt and rejected by women or whatever. So now you're trying to like take it out on all womankind, all women that you come in contact with. Bro, that's lame within itself that you're even obsessed with that, right? Just do you. Women are something that you're supposed to enjoy, not something you're supposed to be putting all this effort into sinister punishment and trying to embarrass them and belittle them and make a spectacle out of them and then encourage other men to do the same. No, I'm going to encourage men to do the opposite. Stop letting women have that much control over your emotional state where you're like out here upset with them and mad with them and trying to get back at them. It's, it's ridiculous, right? It's actually something that women do. It's very feminine, which is the energy that this dude always seems to have. You can look at how triggered he is every time a female you know, says something or disagrees with him or whatever. Look how upset, look how emotional he gets. If a woman calls him a misogynist or criticizes him in any way, this dude loses everything. Well, for someone that's supposed to be so confident and so, you know, high value and all this kind of shit, why do you even care what, what, what chicks say? Why do you even care what the average chick says? You know, I tell chicks to their face, I'm, I, I don't take it personal what you do or you say because I don't know you. I don't personally know you. If you're not like my actual woman, you're not my actual girl, I'm not going to let what you do, like, upset me or, or I'm not going to take it personal. If a girl flakes, I don't take it personal. I don't, I don't even know you. You know what I'm saying? But if your wife does something, oh man, take it personal. You know, if your girlfriend, if several months or, 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 or a year or more does something, of course, take it personal. But if some chick you just met or some chick on Instagram or Twitter or, or, or fucking whatever does something, who cares? Right? Just do you, right? So that's how I feel about the whole stealing, stealing ideas. You know, I heard that even the whole, the whole um, kicking women out if they don't have sex with you, he got that from Lucario. And I know for a fact, kicking women out of the studio, he got that from me. Can you tell the story of whoever was the first girl you ever Frank castled? I don't know who it is and what was going through your head. <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, I can't right. remember Actually, the first girl I kicked I remember out. And she who was, was even, even on the show. It happened when in the, uh, actually in the studio. Oh, we never even made it to, to the show. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 you, what you guys, yeah, what you guys don't draws off before the show even started, bro. Yep. Like, like uh, we'd, we'd like meet them oh. down in the lobby and they'll be on some bullshit. And I'd be like, yo, just go home. Yeah, I'll never pretty forget. Pretty this this girl drove well, well, all the way from also, like, I think uh, Orlando or something like that. And Orlando or West Palm or something uh, like that, somewhere far away. And she came in acting a fool. Myron's like, yo, just go home. What you saying, nigga? I drove all the way here. So go home. Not yeah. Because <laughs> remember, yeah, this was back before we were doing the, the late night show consistently. So like me and Fresh would be having plans at night. We'd have like a double day set up or some shit. Yeah. So like <clears throat> in the beginning, when we used to do these like a uh, late night show with the girls, like it would sometimes be like inconvenience to us. So if a girl came in and was on some bullshit, like, yo, get the fuck out of here, bro. And yeah. we just like kick her out. We didn't care. Pretty much. Because like he was still working his job. I was still doing my shit. So it's like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. We don't we don't need you, bitch. And then we just like kick him out. But then we're like, <clears throat> then we realized it would be hilarious if we did this shit on camera. So, yeah. Even better. Fresh and fit podcast guys love to do. This Fresh Prince CEO guy is a host on the podcast when he's not borrowing Lambos for stage prank videos. Myron Gaines, his alpha male and training co-host, and Fresh love kicking women out of their show. It's become their shtick. It riles up their fan base who love to prove that women are insert slightly misogynistic undertone so line and saying that he came up with that on his own because of all this other no dude i was there that's not none, nothing how you came up with that stop lying stop lying all the damn time so let's let's skip the middle one let's go to the first one lying all right if you're everything that you say that you are right if you're the best and you're doing all these amazing things in the space and whatever whatever why do you have to keep on lying why do you have to lie about every little thing, every little aspect? You have to lie, lie, lie. You have to lie about what goes on with you and chicks. You gotta lie about what goes on with you and other content creators. You gotta just, what, what is that about, right? You have enough going for you where you could just be honest and still have a relatively good show. You'd have a great show. Just, you know, you could give the information that you give and you can even say, I got this from this person or that person. You could just be yourself. A dude that used to be a nerd, used to get bullied or whatever, and still be giving good information in the red pill space. You don't have to pretend, you know what I'm saying, like you you were this, you know, 10%, top 10% guy all the time. You don't have to pretend like you were cool. You're not cool now. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to pretend like you always were cool. 
right? The lying isn't necessary if you're all that you claim to be or, or whatever the fuck. You know, one minute you're a tough guy, you, you punch people in the face, all this other stuff. Next minute, oh, I'm not a street dude. Then you go on no jumper and say you're not a street dude. So what happened? Just a minute ago, you was a tough guy, all right? Talking all this shit, but then you're backing out of fights every time it comes to you. And then now the story is, oh, well, I'm not a street dude. Oh, now you're not, now you're not a street dude. OK, well, why don't you just not be a street dude from the beginning? Why don't you just not be a tough guy from the beginning? So the lying isn't, isn't necessary if you're the one that's above and the hate is coming from below, right? If that's the case, then the haters need to lie. And that's the thing. That's how you know when it's hate, when, when the people have to lie, have to make stuff up to convince people that you're not what you, 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 look, you present yourself as or you're not that good or you're not that special or whatever. The haters have to make up lies. When it's jealousy, you got to make up lies. When it's envy, you got to make up lies, right? Now, the middle thing is the cheating, okay? If you're in the right, which is how Myron presents himself, like he's in the right, then why do you have to keep on cheating, bro? <laughs> why do you have to cheat? Why do you have to go back and say something to a chick behind a dude's back if, if, if the chick would rather deal with you, she'd rather do interviews on your show and all sorts of kind of stuff, why do you have to lie about other people? Um, if you don't have any animosity towards these people like you claim, then why are you going around trying to blackball people? Because at first I thought, oh, he was only doing it to me. Then I have other content creators telling me the exact same thing that I went through. Yo, Myron is telling this person not to work with me. He's telling that person not to work with me. He's telling this person, if you work with these people, then you can't come on the Fresh and Fit podcast. That's a form of cheating. You got to like do all this little sneaky, slimy, you know what I'm saying, bullshit. Why would you have to cheat if you're the better? Why, did, why would someone that's better at something have to cheat? The people that have to cheat are the losers. And, and primarily the people that are used to, to losing and don't believe in themselves. They don't believe that they can win playing by the rules. Those are the people that have to cheat. Um, sending fraudulent copyright claims. That's cheating. In the game of YouTube, right? you're cheating. You're doing things that are out of bounds, bro. Why? Why do you have to do that? If you're in the right and people are you know, rightfully misusing your content, right? it's not rightful use or whatever, it's not fair use, okay, then why do you have to lie, right? But you're out here lying on several freaking channels, trying to get them shut down because you can't deal with the competition based on the terms, based on the rules, based on fairness, you can't do it. You say that you respect Tim Pool for inviting people on that he doesn't agree with and debating them. Yet Myron is yet to debate anybody that he doesn't agree with, right? From Philly on, Alex playing with fire, me, Spencer, anybody who's criticizing him, he doesn't want to have an open debate. He could have easily had an open debate with Abba and Breach. They were down for it. He didn't want to have an open debate. Okay? So that's bullshit then. You're not trying to play by any type of rules. There is no discourse. You're full of shit. You say you, say you believe in discourse, but you do all this sneaky behind the, behind the, 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 the back type shit. I came to your fucking place. I didn't have to lie to the security in the building to get upstairs. I didn't have to explain anything. I didn't have to say, oh, I'm going to see first. I didn't have to say shit. Okay, first of all, would, would they, they would have you believe that I had to lie to come into the building to get to Fresh and Fit's floor. Okay, what they're not telling you is that I know several people that live in that building. Several. Several people that live in that building. Okay? And back when I was dealing with Fresh and Fit, I wasn't only going to that building to see fresh and fit. I wasn't only going to Myron's place. I was back then. I was also visiting those other people. So I've never not been able to get into that building and I'm still going to that building since. Right. Then you say that I broke in. I broke your, your, your door off. I didn't break any door, bro. OK, but that's that's what you went and said. Why would you need to say that? Why would you have to even add that that lie? Why would you have to add that dishonest part in there? Why would you have to say that I lied to the front door people? Why would you have to say that I, I broke your door? Why could you just say I they came here to fight me because I was running my mouth and lying on him and telling people that he had their money that I have, that I scammed people out of? Why don't you just tell the truth? I scammed people out of money and then they wanted their money back and I blamed it on Allende, right? He called me, okay, and said, what's up with this? And then I lied to him because I'm a fucking liar. And then he told me, stop fucking lying and stop talking about me. I'm gonna punch you in your face. And you said, I'm not afraid of you. And then he came to see you, and you were afraid. Just be honest, bro. We all know. We, 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 we seen to it. We know, right? So you have the constant lying from someone that's supposedly in the right. You have the constant stealing of ideas and concepts. You stole my fucking concept until this day. You're still acting like you came up with interviewing the girls. You know damn well you didn't. And that's the bread and butter of your show. Interviewing the chicks and having all these high-profile guests that you have to pay for. 
right? So you're, su you're such the shit, but you have to pay all your male guests to come on. And it was me that, that taught you how to get females on the damn show in the first place, and you're struggling to do that without me. Every time I meet a girl that's been on the podcast, she tells me she's been on it several times, several times in a month, several times in six weeks she's been on the podcast. Why? Why? Why can't you just source new girls, bro? Why are you struggling to do that? Now, back to the cheating thing, deactivating people's Instagram. That's another form of cheating. Why do you have to go to a hacker and do all this type of shit, deactivate people's Instagram just because you don't like what they're saying about you? That's a form of cheating. Why don't you just defend yourself? You have a fucking microphone in front of your ugly ass face every day. Why don't you just say the truth on the microphone then? Why do you have to do all this sneaky stuff? Why do you have to ignore people publicly, but then you do all this sneaky behind the back type shit? You lie to police, you lie to lawyers, you lie to YouTube. I mean, you lie to chicks. <laughs> you're, you're over here. So Myron has some fat, unattractive chick that was just hanging around the studio that he was sleeping with. I don't know, you're supposed to be a winner. You're supposed to be a high value man, but you're always with some bare minimum chicks. You're always with some average or below average chicks, but you're supposed to be this high valued man, right? Whenever you guys are ready, point out the good looking girl that's ever been associated with Myron. Go ahead and show me the, show me, show me one eight. Show me one eight or higher that Myron's ever been with, that's ever, that's, that he's ever messed with. Go ahead. Because Fresh has plenty of good looking chicks that he's been with. Whether he's getting finessed or he's simping or sugar daddy or whatever, at least Fresh actually has been with some sevens and eights. I've even seen Fresh with a nine, I think. I might have seen him with a girl that was pretty close to a nine. So however Fresh is getting them, at least he's still getting really beautiful women. Myron, no. I see Myron hooking up with a 40 year old. But then he's the same dude on the podcast telling guys that just chicks hit the wall and just chicks post wall and post wall this and that. But, but you, you were sleeping with a 40 year old, bro and a very unattractive one, not even, not even a hot cougar. She was ugly as hell, she looked like a zombie. Right? I've seen him with fat girls, but he's brought up weight all the time. He calls his subs fat. Oh, you fat, you can't see your dick, bro. So you're over here talking about, you're over here body shaming, but then you, you sleep with out of shape fat chicks. Anyway, I brought up the fat white chick because he had her lie and say that, yeah, Yendi's creepy, he creeps the girls out and ask me for their numbers. Okay, I never spoke to that chick before in my life. But Myron puts her up to lying. Myron puts Fresh up to lying. He puts Chris, so, so it's like he's a liar. He makes other people lie for him. It's disgusting, bro. It's fucking disgusting. And the lies don't even make any damn sense most of the time. He gets caught in majority of them. But somehow the ball's still rolling. Somehow you still got these desperate subs out here that still feed it into this bullshit. And I get it. A lot of them are still invested in that show. They've donated so much money. They've helped pay for the stripper pole. They've, they've helped pay for all the 4K cameras. They feel so invested. You know what I mean? They paid all that super chat money. They bought all these programs that don't work. They've, they've done the hour consults and been told nothing but it's your fault. You're a loser. So I get that part, you know what I mean? But it's really, really sad, bro, that these guys are that sucked in and that brainwashed that they still have to ride with this deceptive ass team of all fraud, 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 fraud ass shit. Nobody over there can just be themselves. Nobody over there can just keep it real. And I just don't want to see you guys go down that road, bro. Just think about it yourself. That's all I'm saying is think about it. I don't never have to slander. There's no fucking slander. I'm just telling the truth. And more importantly, I'm telling you guys, think for yourself. Look at it yourself bro, and then figure it out for yourself. You can, you can tell what's real and what's not. Just use some discernment, man. It's really not that fucking hard. But anyway, I just find it really hypocritical how somebody that's supposed to be so much better than everyone else and such a winner has to keep on resorting to all these low level tactics, bro. This guy deactivated my Instagram again and it's like, that shit is just making me better, bro. So, so it's the fourth time, it's the fourth time that Myron's had my Instagram hacked. I keep on getting it reactivated. It takes a while, I get it reactivated, but the funny thing is, it actually just keeps making me better because I was using Instagram to, to get, to book most of the girls. I guess that's why he thought that that's, that would hurt me, but I just cult approach. Lately, even though my Instagram has was on, I was just meeting girls in person, getting them to do interviews. That's cool. And most people, I just get their phone number right away because I know that you can't count on Instagram when you got Myron lurking around, right? But anyway, guys, be stand-up dudes. Don't don't be cheating. Learn how to win, playing by the rules. Quit lying, because lying is a, a sign of weakness. If you have to lie. You can't just, be, you know, stand with the truth. Remember, a coward dies a thousand deaths. Okay? 
and a liar is another coward. It's another type of coward. All right? And if you have to keep stealing people's ideas to do whatever it is that you're trying to do, I don't know, man. Anyway, guys, we'll see how this shit continues to unfold. I wasn't even thinking about Fresh and Fit until they did this dumb shit again. It's just funny because there's a lot of content creators that say the same thing. Like, just when I was done making videos about these guys, they go and do some motherfucking slimy ass shit. And, and one more thing. I don't know if karma is really a real thing, but cause and effect definitely is a real thing. So <laughs> the fact that these guys keep on putting this energy out, it's like I don't have to, I don't have to worry about it because I already know it's, it's going to consume them eventually because they're putting so much bad, bad, bad blood out there. There's going to be so many people that have a bone to pick with them that all they're doing is making whatever it is that they're building very, very um, unstable. They're making, it, they're making it at jeopardy because the bigger they get is actually gonna be the easier they are to take down. I don't know why Myron keeps thinking that the money and the success is gonna make him um, like impenetrable. Like, he keeps thinking that's gonna protect him. Like, nah, in this society, that's actually what gets you shut down. Is that when you get too big, you get too successful, you become on too many people's radar and you keep reminding people that you rubbed the wrong way um, about what you had done in the past because every time they see you, they're like, oh yeah, this is the guy that did this, this, and this. So it's gonna come full circle, man. It's gonna come back. It's like, this is the thing. All the bullshit that they're doing to me, they, they're doing it to several other people too. So I don't even have to like have all the responsibility of some type of retaliation or doing something. I don't have to do anything. You know what I mean? It's just like with the whole thing with Abba and Preach. People said that I chose to make a video talking about Fresh and fit because of the timing of what was going on with Abba and Preach. It's like, actually, no, that's not what it was. When that was happening, I was relieved. I was like, oh, okay, well, let, let, let them deal with that. That's a much bigger channel. They're going to have a hard time going back and forth with Abba and Preach because they have a voice, they have a platform. So I was more than, you know, happy to stay out of it. But it's when all these people kept calling me and telling me, yo, we need to talk, we need to see you. You know, we were told that you have our money. And Myron said this and that. I'm like, wait, what? And then the, su the subs actually sent me a recording of the whole thing, of Myron telling them that I sabotaged the party and that I had their money and I scammed them out of their money. I was like, oh, hell no. So that's why me and Large chose to get involved at the time that we chose to get involved. Large was super busy at the time. I was busy at the time, bro. We were watching the shit, you know what I'm saying, from afar, eating popcorn like everyone else. We had no intention of getting involved with that shit, okay? And I don't have to lie to you motherfuckers. I'm tired of motherfuckers who oh, you cloud chasing us, bro. I'll just tell you what it is, okay? Was the timing convenient? It was very convenient that they were going at it with, with Abba and Peach at the time. But it wasn't the reason why. It wasn't the reason why. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's, that's, that's what that was about. And like I said, the fact that so many people are rubbed the wrong way, I feel relieved because one of those many, many, many people is going to go ahead and do whatever needs to be done to my ring. That's coming regardless. I don't got to do shit. And as far as um, my confidence level, what I'm trying to do in YouTube and, and in this space, <laughs> Myron makes me extremely confident, okay? Because the way he's acting lets me know that, bruh, you got all the tools. You got all the tools that you need to go ahead and make shit happen, okay, on YouTube. They ain't shit that those boys are doing that I couldn't do. You think I can't lie and, you know, scheme and do all this bullshit too? Yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it the long way, right? He keeps saying, oh yeah, I like how my subs are, are building organically. No, you don't, you lying motherfucker. You're constantly paying for something. You're constantly paying for guests. You're constantly paying for likes, paying for views, paying for subs. You're constantly trying to do all this extra stuff to, to, to you know, to inflate the views, right? One would say that him telling people to, to watch YouTube and Twitch at the same time so he gets double the views, some people will say that's genius. Some people will say that's, that's a form of cheating. Whatever, do whatever you gotta do. All I'm saying is stop being a hypocrite, stop lying. Stop saying on one end, oh, I, 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 I like it when the channel grows organically. Bro, <laughs> that is the biggest lie. Myron does everything he can, okay, to, to um, how do I say it? He does everything he, he can to get more clout and to, and to grow the channel in deceptive ways, right? Deceptive ways. 
not just making really good content, um, promoting, you know, marketing, you know, the ways that you would normally, you know, try to make a business successful, you know, honestly and positively. No, he's, he does that. Don't get me wrong. He does do that. But he also does a hell of a lot of sneaky, shady, backdoor, cheating ass, you know, ha hacker type stuff. He's always trying to hack the system, right? You know, he's trying to cheat and get ahead. So anyway, man, I got plenty of cardio to do. So I talk about this shit all fucking day. But anyway, that's what it is, bro. Just remember, guys, real winners don't got to lie. They don't got to cheat. and They don't got to steal. And there's no way in hell that so many people are accusing these guys of this and it not be true. All right, let's be for real. That's one thing my mom always said. If, if, if multiple people are saying it, there got to be some truth to it. Okay, so where's all these YouTubers that have a problem with me? Where are all these YouTubers, okay, that, that, that are criticizing me and, and calling me a fraud and calling me a liar? Where are all these people that have met me that have something negative to say about me? Where are all these people? Show me these people. Okay, let's see these people. Where are all the girls that I creeped out? Where are they? Anyway, y'all, keep it tight.